welcome back again today we're going to be changing some brake pads on a 2003 plate Nissan Micra dead easy um, but I thought I'll just show you how, it, how it's done take the brake fluid cap off uh, reason being is when we take the caliper off we uh, we have to push the caliper back and um, well, you know the pressure. You know, release the pressure through this side. I mean, some nine times out of ten, it doesn't release any pressure or anything. But uh, just be on the safe side. Uh, we take the uh, brake caliper off, uh, brake cap off. What I would do first is I would crack the wheel nuts on the floor with a strong arm. The wrench. There you go. Then when it's on the ramp, it's dead easy to take off. You see, so uh, it's it's harder to crack on the ramp. So just crack them on the floor while it's on the floor before you send it up. Just crack all the wheel bolts, and then you can take them off while it's on the ramp. Right, the wheels off, as you can see. Wheels off. Brake calipers there. Brake pads are there. Um, all we do, it's dead easy on these. Just take that one bolt off. Take that one bolt off. Swing the caliper up and uh, take the pads off that's all you do I mean, I'll try to do it with one hand right so counterclockwise anti-clockwise sorry about that that was sorry about that that was my uh, brother in the background he's working on a fiesta so uh, sorry about that so yeah all you have to take that off As you can see that spinning now that spinning there and there where my thumb is that spinning so what you need to do is hold that. I think that's a that's a 15 or a 17 milli. Hold that, take that one off, and then swing the caliper up. Right, the bolt is out. That is ready to come off. All you do is swing it over. What tip here? Um, a safety tip. Don't leave it like that. If you leave it like that and you're messing about moving and whatnot, you know, taking pads off. So and if that goes like that show you again if that goes like that you trap your fingers there trust me it will hurt so best thing to do what I normally do if I can do it with one hand take the whole thing off leave it dangling there and then you can't trap your fingers or anything all you do next is just take the pads off and then um, chuck them away and just put new pads on but before we put new pads on we have to clamp the caliper back just one minute. Uh, to clamp the caliper back, um, you could use the brake wind back tool uh, if you want to use the brake wind back tool or just use one of them. A big clamp, big dogs, just clamp it in and that's it. Alright, new pads are on as you can see, new pads. Um, you can put a bit of copper grease there if you want. And a bit on this side, it stops it from squeaking. Um, but strictly speaking, I don't think you should put copper grease in because, let's face it, when it comes out from the showroom or the factory, they don't put any copper grease on it. But you know, if you want to, you can put some copper grease in on it. Right, copper grease is on. Another thing uh, you should check before you go fitting it is these sliders there. Make sure they're, they're free. Um, you don't want them to be sticking. Uh, mess your pads up. Uh, another thing is you'll have imbalanced brakes um, So make sure they're free that one's free because that came off so that is free um, and that's it We're ready to uh, ready to fit it back on And that's it. There we go All done brake back brake pads are on uh, just put the wheel back on if you want you can put a bit of copper grease around there because this wheel was quite tight to come off uh, I had to actually hammer it off um, so put a bit of copper grease around the hub, uh, file the uh, wheel down where it sits on the hub and um, that's it, that's about it. Thanks guys for watching, um, hit the like button if you can, uh, please and uh, subscribe to my channel and if you, if you, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment, I'll uh, reply back to you guys uh, as soon as I can. Thanks very much, bye.